Welcome to the 2017 NCHA Lucas Oil Super Stakes. I'm with Gary Rosenbach, the winner of the Unlimited Amateur Four Year Old Final. He rode Herding Instincts and scored a 220 and a half. Congratulations to you, Gary. Thank you very much. Now, you're no stranger to this arena or winning titles here. How does this third title feel? Well, it's been a while in between the last ones. I think the last one I won was three, four years ago, but it's really exciting to be back in the winner's circle. Tell us about your other titles that you've got. So I won a, I won a derby title on... Uh, it's evading me right now. His barn name was Spider, and I won a Super Stakes title on Scooter's Daisy Duke. And so this is the first time in the Unlimited Amateur, like I said, but we're really happy to be here. Did you feel a difference in the, the competition because you're in the Unlimited now? It felt a lot more competitive. There are a lot more um, competitive riders in here that go back and forth between non-pro and actually a lot of competitive seniors as well. Okay, so you had a big final, 33 in all, I think 17 or something in your set. How do you go with such a big herd? Well, you know, we spent a lot of time in the cow box. I was up there with RL and Michael Cooper, and we had chose, um, we had four or five cows on our radar. The first one I cut was a brown bridge, and it was just perfect. And then we went back to the herd looking for a slick neck, slick neck brown cow, but we couldn't find it. So I cut shape on another cow that we liked, which was a brown wicker pole cow, and that worked out pretty well. And when I walked back to the herd for the third time, we found the slick neck brown cow not easy for me to say and we, we found the slick neck brown cow and it just worked perfectly we just got him in a good spot I put my hand down in the middle of the pen and it just was great can you describe to us that feeling when you've got that horse moving under you like that and it's really in sync with the cow? You know, we only own him for about four months, but he's incredibly strong and powerful. And at times I got to remember to stay soft because he literally throws me all over the place. But he was just really locked into the cow right now. One time I asked him pretty hard I, with my left leg to get across the cow and he just listened and he got brighter and brighter for the rest of the run. So, herding instincts, I take it, has good herding instincts? I'm, I'm happy with them. <laughs> you came by this horse fairly recently, is that right? Tell we us. bought him right after the futurity. Okay. How often have you shown it? This is the second time for me walking to the herd on him. I showed him, I can't remember, I think at the Bonanza. Yes. Well, that, right. you, some would say that's excellent odds. Yes, I'll take one out of two every time. <laughs> Now, um, you've got, I think, 118000 or so in lifetime earnings. You've won another 11000 I'm going to guess that you're going to keep going with this horse and oh, yeah. keep pushing this, um, yeah, these winnings up? He's just a four-year-old, and he's, uh, I, we think there's a lot of upside to this horse. We really do. Thank you for joining us today. Pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>